Just before Illustrator came out, I had to come up with some demo files to show it off. And I saw some work being done by an artist by the name of Ron Chan in San Francisco, who did everything in an Illustrator-like fashion, but he did it with ink and pen and colored overlays. So he's a great candidate for someone who should be using Illustrator. Basically, the whole project was just to produce this one piece of artwork of this nurse with a French curve. It was such a simple program at that time. It didn't have any undo commands, so anytime I made a mistake, the guy that was with Russell would come over and go into the code and erase the code and say, okay, you can start it up again. We were just trying to get the thing to work. So we scan in this reference art and he does this illustration of this nurse and there's big dots all over so she looks like a Lichtenstein you know, print. If I only known about Adobe Illustrator and there's a tear coming down her eye. <laughs> January of 87, we came out with the first version of Illustrator. We're now a software company, and we have products like Adobe Illustrator. That has to be packaged, it has to be promoted. Because it was such a new kind of a product, I did a one-take video take <laughs> and demoed the product. I'm John Warnock, president of Adobe Systems, and I'd like to welcome you today to view a tape that we've prepared about Adobe Illustrator. It addresses the professional illustration market and it has a lot of capabilities that you won't find in other programs. I'd only been at Adobe for a few months and Russell had said, here, design the packaging for Illustrator. So I started thinking about classical art and the Renaissance and I saw the painting of Botticelli's Venus and I thought, that's the one. I was sold. I was sold the minute I saw it. It was that ability to manipulate curves that really got me, because curves are very important, especially if you're designing type. Traditionally, I wanted that curve, and I wanted to give it a little more curve. If it wasn't right, I had to white it out and start it again. Whereas in Illustrator, I could just grab it and move it. I saw the potential from what I did in it. That's what got me excited about it. I started creating TV web covers at the Chronicle on the computer, on a Mac, using Illustrator. I started doing more and more complex things. It would always be crashing the rip of DPI. This is the one that crashed the rip. Back then, this was all fairly new stuff, and people were very resistant to the whole idea of going digital. This concept of a computer that could draw these shapes for you, we were introducing a whole new way of thinking. There were a lot of people that were very skeptical. So we did this video of me jumping out of an airplane as sort of the metaphor of here's how scary it is to go outside your comfort zone. I hated jumping out of the airplane, by the way. People loved it. I think because they could identify with it. Because for them to make that leap then, it was super scary. There were skeptics for quality of text. What was the precision of the line? You know, I've used my rapidograph in years past and I create this perfect line. And so here I come along, and I'm trying to evangelize the process of using Adobe Illustrator. I search for some of the best designers out there, and I bring them to invitationals I'm putting on. We set up Adobe Illustrator, brought these skeptics into the room, and changed their whole lives. We called it influencing the influencers, and it was really, really effective. We had some amazing artists. David Hockney came. Key figures in publishing like Life and Time, uh, New York Times. We introduced this technology to Time Magazine and boom! Every infographic at Time Magazine has now been done in Illustrator. All of the economics of publishing a magazine changed dramatically. 
And it was really Illustrator and PostScript and the printers and the Mac that started all of that. Multiple designs could be done in half the time and production changed completely, so it was a revolution. It can only be equated to perhaps when Gutenberg came up with the printing press. Illustrator. It really has changed the world and it's changed the way graphic designers work and the art that's been created. And it's absolutely precise and perfect and adjustable. What people have been able to do with Illustrator is just astounding. Everybody said you're going to ruin good design because now anybody can do it. But the cream rises to the top. The creativity is in the designer. The creativity is in the person who uses the tools.